Coming up on this edition of Ableton On Air, we talk about blind people in the music industry. All that and much more in this four-part series. Coming up next, stay tuned. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of all people with abilities despite their disabilities. I am Lauren Seiler. Arlene is not here today. Um, um, let us thank our um, partners in this program, uh, Baber Vermont, Higher Ability Vermont, and many others, including the Division for the Blind Vermont, and and the Association for the Blind Vermont. Um, I would like to um, uh, talk about uh, a particular blind artist for this um, particular show. Um, her name is Maria Teresa Von, Par Von Paradis, P-A-R-I-D-I-S. Um, for more information on, on this, you can go to wikipedia.org. Um, forward slash um, uh, Maria Teresa Von Paradis. Uh, uh, Maria Teresa Von Paradis, P A R I D I S, May 15th, uh, 1759 to February 1st, 1824, was an Australian musician, that, uh, a musician and composer who lost the sight at an early age, uh, for whom she. Uh, her and her close friend Mozart may have written his piano concerto number 18 in B flat major. She was a she was in contact with um, with Soleri, Hayden, and Gluck, which were other uh, composers. Mary Teresa von Paradis was the daughter of Joseph Anton. Von Paradis, Imperial Secretary of Commerce Court Counselor to the Empress Maria Theresa, for whom she is named. The Empress, however, was not the godmother and was often believed between, uh, between the ages of two and five, she lost her eyesight. She received a broad education in the musical arts from Carrie Freebirth, uh, from, from Carl Freebirth, who was uh, dealing with music theory and composition, Leopold um, uh, K O Z E L U C H, he did piano, um, Vincenzo uh, 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 Riccini, um, R I G. H I N I. Uh, he's a um, Italian uh, music uh, theorist and teacher. Um, Antonio Solari um, taught her singing and composition, and Abby Vogler sing theory and composition. By all accounts, Paradis had an excellent memory and um, exceptionally accurate. Um, Hearing and she, she she was she was widely reported to have learned over sixty concertos by heart, uh, which is a composition, as well as large repertory for solo and religious works. In seventeen seventy three, she was commissioned to perform the an organ concerto by Antonio Soleri which survives, uh, <clears throat> but without the second movement. In 1775, Paradis um, was performed, performing as a, sing, uh, as a singer and pianist in various Viennese salons and concerts. Paradis was treated, was treated from 1776 until the middle of um, 1777 by the famous Franz Anton uh, uh, Mesmer who was able to improve her blindness temporarily. 
and she was removed from his care. And concerns on one hand a possible scandal, and the other hand a potential loss of her disability pension because she worked. In in any case, from her departure from Dr. Mesmer, the blindness came back permanently. Parodies did not stay confined to Vienna. Uh, to Vienna in 1783, she set <clears throat> she set out to do extended tours to Paris and London, accompanied by her mother and 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 Liberus, uh Johann Rigdinger, who invented the composition board for her. In, in August of that year, they visited the Mozarts in Salzburg and um, through, through uh, so Nanette's diary seemed to place the meeting in September. She played in Frankfurt, Germany, and other German cities then Switzerland. Paradis finally reached Paris in 1784. Her first concert was given in April, the Concert Spiritual. Um, the review in the journal, the view in the, the review in the journal de Paris, uh, said, said it remarked, one one that I've heard to form an idea of the touch of precision and fluency of the vividness of her playing. And she made a total of 14 appearances in Paris to excellent reviews and acclaim. She also assisted in helping Valentin, uh, Valentin Hawaii, the father of Apostle of the Blind um, established the first school for the blind that opened, the, opened in 1785. Paradis performed a piano concerto by Joseph Hayden, um, which, <clears throat> which may have premiered in Paris in 1784, but it appears to have been to have been composed in the 1770s and the original manuscript is now lost. Also in 1784, Paradis performed a piano concerto, probably number 18, K456 by Mozart, while K456 is believed to be the concerto intended for Paradis. And there are continuing doubts concerning this. Um, Ruth uh, uh, Hallowell comments, it is not certain that the, that the concern of this was uh, Leopold in a letter from Vienna um, simply described uh, Nanero as a glorious concerto and said to have been written by <clears throat> uh, 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 written for Maria Theresa von Paradis for Paris. His description suggests that neither <clears throat> nor no, no, uh, knew already so uh, so this so <clears throat> so this is so. It must be it must have been a later uh, a later than K four five three by Mozart and seems to have uh, the newest they have in Salzburg and on this date. Paradis traveled to Westminster in late seventeen eighty four and performed a few months at court. Uh, at at court, the Carlton House, the townhouse of the Prince of Wales, and in professional concerts at Hanover Square at Westminster. Um, I'm going to go down here and just read a, a piece here that's important. 
Um, and we only have a couple of minutes left. During her tour in Europe, Paradis be began composing solo music for piano as pieces in her voices and key in her voice and keyboard. The earliest music attributed to life <clears throat> to life as often said uh, uh, to life hold on attributed to life cited um, set by by four piano sonata, sonatas about 1777 but uh, but really Pietro Demento Paradisi um, to whom much of her music and often mistakenly um, attributed. Um, her earliest major work in existence is the collection of Zuf Lieder, um, uh, uh, which is a uh, German piece of music, and I can't pronounce the, um, the rest of the title, and it, is, it was composed between 1784 and 1786. By the year 1789, Paradis was spending time more with composition than performance, as shown in the fact from 1789 to 1797, she composed five operas and three continuers. After, uh, uh, continuers. After the failure of the opera, um, uh, Ronaldo and uh, Und Alcina from 1797, she shifted her energy more into teaching. By 1808, she founded her own music school in Vienna, where she taught <clears throat> singing, piano, and theory by young girls. A Sunday concert series at the school featured the work of outstanding pupils. She continued to teach up until her death in 1824. Today's um, program was about Maria Teresa von Paradis, P-A-R-A-D-I-S, -A -A and for more information on her life and times, you can go to www.wikipedia.org forward slash uh, Maria Teresa T R, I'm uh, sorry, T H E R E S I A von Paradis P A R A D I S and www.wikipedia.org. Uh, this has been an episode of Able Than On Air about uh, the first of many episodes on um, blind uh, uh, music artists. Uh, please tune in for other episodes of Able Dead On Air, www.orcamedia.net uh, forward slash Able Dead On Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time.